गुड मॉर्निंग डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट टेस्ट सीरीज ऑफ बी पी डब्ल एस सी एस आई विच वॉज कंडक्टेड ऑन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड दिसंबर ट्वेंटी इन फर्स्ट शिफ्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ड्यूरिंग द इवेंट ऑफ शॉर्ट सर्किट द करेंट इन द सर्किट इनक्रीज हैविली अ शॉर्ट सर्किट मीन्स Negligible resistance connection between two conductors supplying electric current. Since resistance resistance stands almost zero in case of short circuit, the flow of current will not face any resistance. Hence, the short circuit will draw maximum current or huge current in the event of short circuit. It means that in mathematically. V is equal to potential is equal to I into R. V by R is equal to I. If R goes zero, then V by R term would go infinite, which means a huge quantity. Which further means the current is huge. The resistance would not be exact zero, but whatever the small resistance. it provides the current will be huge in the event of short circuit hence during the short circuit the current in the circuit will increase heavily what is the rank of the second question is what is the rank of india as per the global energy transition index released in march 2019 it is 76 india ranked 76th on a global energy in transition index which has ranked 115 economies on how well they are able to balance energy security and access with environmental sustainability and affordability sweden was on the top followed by switzerland and norway in the top 3 china ranked even lower than india at the 82nd position the third question is Great Barrier Reef is located parallel to the north east coast of Australia its explanation is Great Barrier Reef is located parallel to the north east coast of Australia the Great Barrier Reef is located in the tropical waters of far north Queensland The Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef and the corals are alive. The marine park stretches over 3000 km almost parallel to the Queensland coast in the tropical waters. The barrier reefs are those types of reefs that are parallel to the coastline but are separated by deeper wider lagoons. The reef is home to 30 species of whale, dolphin and porpoise, 6 species of turtle, 17 species of sea snake, more than 1500 species of fish, incredibly 10% of the world's fish species inhabit the Great Barrier Reef. The fourth question is which of the following charter acts changed the designation of Governor General of Bengal to Governor General of India Charter Act of 1833 its explanation is Charter Act of 1833 changed the de- designation of Governor General of Bengal to Governor General of India he was invested with all with full power and authority to control the civil and military administration of the presidency governments Lord William Bentinck 1825 to 1835 was the first governor general of india the act was passed on august 28 1833 other salient features of the act the act ended the commercial functions of the company the company was asked to wind wind up its business and was promised a sum of nearly 90 million pounds as compensation however it was allowed to retain its administrative and political powers provision was made for the addition of a law member to the governor general's council lord macaulay was the first law member appointed under the act 
द गवर्नर जनरल वॉज ऑल्सो एडवाइज टू अपॉइंट अ लॉ कमीशन टू कॉडिफाई ऑल द लॉज द फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेंटली मेस्ड विद रिगार्ड टू थर्मल थर्मल पावर प्रोजेक्ट्स आंसर इज कवास गुजरात कवास इज अ थर्मल पावर प्लांट लोकेटेड इन सूरत डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन गुजरात नेशनल थर्मल पावर कॉरपोरेशन एट कवास व हैज बिकम द फर्स्ट पावर यूनिट इन द स्टेट टू इंस्टॉल वन मेगावाट ग्रिड कनेक्स कनेक्टेड फ्लोटिंग सोलर प्रोजेक्ट लोकेशंस ऑफ द अदर थर्मल पावर प्लांट्स आर पावर प्लांट फर्स्ट पावर प्लांट इज कोरबा इन छत्तीसगढ़ स्टेट एंड इट्स कैपेसिटी इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स हंड्रेड मेगावाट सेकेंड पावर प्लांट इज इन रामागुंडम सिचुएटेड इन तेलंगाना स्टेट एंड इट्स कैपेसिटी इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स हंड्रेड मेगावाट द थर्ड पावर प्लांट इज तालचेर सिचुएटेड इन ओडिशा एंड इट्स कैपेसिटी इज फोर हंड्रेड सिक्सटी मेगावाट फोर्थ पावर प्लांट इज कावास एंड इट्स स्टेट इज सिचुएटेड इन गुजरात एंड इट्स कैपेसिटी इज सिक्स हंड्रेड फोर्टी फाइव मेगावाट A person who is not a member of state legislature can be appointed as chief minister for six months, within which time he should be elected to a state legislature, following which he ceases to be chief minister. Its explanation is: A person who is not a member of state legislature can be appointed as chief minister for six months, within which time he should be elected to the state legislature. Failing which he ceases to be chief minister as per Article One Sixty Four, the chief ministers shall be appointed by the governor, and other ministers shall be appointed by the governor on the advice of the chief minister, and the ministers shall hold the office during the pleasure of the governor. As per Article One Hundred Sixty Four of Four, a minister who, for any period of six consecutive months, is not a member of the legislature of the state, shall, at the expiration of that period, cease to be a minister. When light travels obliquely from one medium to another, the direction of propagation of light in the second medium changes. The phenomenon is known as refraction. its explanation is when light travels obliquely from one medium to another the direction of propagation of light in the second medium changes the phenomenon is known as refraction phenomenon refraction its effect is change in the direction of light phenomenon second phenomenon is reflection its effect is bouncing back of light third phenomenon is scattering its effect is deflection in many different directions fourth phenomenon is polarization its effect is light waves become transverse through which of the following amendment act constitution socialist secular and integrity added to the preamble 42nd constitutional amendment act of 1976 its brief explanation is <coughs> in the amendment of 38th constitutional amendment act the subject was empowering president to declare emergency simultaneously on different ground promulgation of the ordinance by the president governor or administrator non justiciable declaration of emergency by president non justiciable in year 1975 39th constitutional amendment act included certain central acts in the 9th schedule the dispute between president prime minister governor speaker not in the ambit of the judi- judiciary is in 1975 42nd constitutional amendment act shortening the procedure of disciplinary action on civil servants provided for the creation of all india judicial service rights and privileges of members and committees to be decided from time to time quorum in the parliament and the state legislative abolished socialist secular and integrity added to the preamble added fundamental duties president bound by the advice of the cabinet provided for administrative tribunal and tribunal for other matters constitution amendment beyond the judiciary 
curtailed the power of judiciary review and writs of SC and HC. 42nd Constitutional Amendment Act. Tenure of Lok Sabha and Legislative Assembly rose to six years. Law made by the directive principle cannot be changed on fundamental rights. Parliament powered to make law on anti-nationalist and fundamental rights can be curtailed. Equal justice, free legal aid, participation in management in working place added to the directive principle, extended the one-time precedent rule from six months to one year. The center can deploy armed forces in any state of India. Education, forest protection, weight and measurement, administration of justice, constructional and organization of all court expect, except SC to union list. All these happened in the year 1976. So we can say that 42nd Constitutional Amendment Act was adopted on 19 ad, adopted in 1976. 43rd Constitutional Amendment Act deprived Parliament to make law for anti-nationalist restoring judicial reviews and writs of SC and HC was Applied in 1977, Jalepla Pass is located in Sikkim Himalaya. Sikkim Himalayas is a part of Greater Himalayas, also known as Himadri. The extent of this range is between Nanga Parvat peak in the west and Namcha Barwa peak in the east. The highest peak of the world. Mount Everest is situated in this range. Kanchenjunga, Makaul, Makalu, Dholagiri, Annapurna are some of the other peaks which are situated in this range. The Himadri range is snow covered throughout the year. That is why there is a large number of glaciers are found in this range. Greater Himalayas has many passes like Jojila, Sipkila, Lipu Lake, Nathula, and Jalepla, etc. Jalepla is a high mountain pass between India and Tibet in Sikkim, Himalayas. Hence, option 2 is correct. For which of the following colors light shows the least scattering? Answer is red. Light shows the least scattering for the red color because the red color has the longest wavelength. Violet, wavelength of violet color is 400 to 440, frequency is 668 hertz to 789 hertz. Blue, wavelength of blue is 460 to 500, frequency is 666 THZ to 668 THZ Wavelength of green color is 500 to 570 and its frequency is 526 terahertz to 606 terahertz Wavelength of red is red color is 620 to 720 and its frequency is 400 terahertz to 484 terahertz GDKP Gross Domestic Knowledge Product Term was coined by whom? Umberto Salfasso. Answer is Umberto Salfasso. The term GDKP, Gross Domestic Knowledge Product, was coined by Professor Umberto Salfasso of the University of Southern California. In essence, growth and future are measured under Gross Domestic Knowledge Product GDKP on the basis of four basic pillars, knowledge items, countries knowledge producing metrics, countries knowledge user metrics, cost of learning. The specific knowledge items in India may consist of the proliferation of cultural and religious teaching, yoga, veda and dance schools religious festivals and harvest festivals in the india habitat center new delhi the ministry of statistics 
and program implementation in collaboration to the Indian Statistical Organization held a one-day workshop on the novel and emerging area of gross domestic knowledge product. Which of the following is a helicopter launched version of the NAG anti-tank guided missile? Helena. Helena is a helicopter launched version of the NAG anti-tank guided missile with a heat range of 7 to 8 km. It is one of the most advanced anti-tank weapons in the world which has been designed by Defense Research and Development Organization. The speciality of the other given missiles are Achuk, Ades class patrol vessel Amog guided anti tank missile, Laksha the remotely piloted aerial vehicle, Helena anti tank guided missile. On the occasion of the National Sports Day, players were awarded who among the following were awarded with Arjun Award in 2019. All the four were awarded in 2019. Their name are Ej. First is Ravindra Jadeja. Second is Pramod Bhagat. Third is Swapna Barman. Fourth is Gaurav Singh Gill. The Arjun Awards are given by the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Government of India. It was started in 1961. All the major players, namely Ravindra Jadeja, Pramod Bhagat, Swapna Barman, and Gaurav Singh Gill, received Arjun Award in 2019. Ravindra Jadeja received the Arjun Award in Cricket, Pramod Bhagat in Para Sports Badminton, Swapna Barman in Athletics, Gaurav Singhil in Motor Sports. The third battle of Panipat was fought between which of the following two, Maratha Empire and, and Durrani Empire. The Third battle of Panipat took place on 14 January 1761 between Marathas and Ahmad Shah Abdali of the Durrani Empire. Marathas army was led by Sada Sivrao. They fought bravely but got defeated. Many Maratha leaders and thousands of soldiers died in this battle. Balaji Bajirao, the Peshwa, also died on hearing the sad end of the battle. The important cause of the downfall was that there was a lack of unity among the Maratha chiefs. The first battle of Panipat was fought on 21 April 1526, fought between Babur and Ibrahim Lodi. The second battle of Panipat was fought on 5 November 1556 was fought between Akbar and Hemu. The third battle of Panipat was fought on 14 January 1761 and fought between Maratha and Durrani. The longest river of peninsular India is Godavari. And its explanation is, the Godavari is the longest river of peninsular India. Godavari river is one of the longest rivers in India and its total length is about 1465 km. The tributaries of the Godavari are Purna, the Vardha and the Prana, Pranhita, the Manjra, the Vain Ganga of the Pen Ganga and the Pen Ganga. The Godavari River rises in northwestern Maharashtra in the western Ghats range only bit about 80 km from the Arabian Sea and flows for most of its course, generally eastward course across peninsular India. After traversing Maharashtra, it enters northern Telangana and then Andhra Pradesh. The river then turns south eastward for the last 320 km of its course, flowing through a gap in the eastern Ghats ranges and then across Andhra Pradesh state before reaching the Bay of Bengal. There it empties via its two mouths the Gautami Godavari to the north and the Vasist Godavari to the south. Raj, Raja Mundri is located on the banks of the Ra river Godavari. Godavari river is also known as Dakshin Ganga. 
द महानदी राइजेज इन द हाईलैंड ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ इट फ्लोज थ्रू ओडिशा टू रीच द बे ऑफ बंगाल द लेंथ ऑफ द रिवर इज अबाउट एट हंड्रेड सिक्सटी किलोमीटर इट्स ड्रेनेज बेसिन इज शेयर्ड बाय महाराष्ट्र छत्तीसगढ़ झारखंड एंड ओडिशा नर्मदा ओरिजिनेट्स फ्रॉम अमरकंटक अनूपपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट मध्य प्रदेश इट फ्लोज फॉर थर्टीन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर फ्रॉम ईस्ट टू वेस्ट इन ए राफ्ट वैली बिटवीन सतपुरा एंड विंध्याज ओमकेर कारेश्वर महेश्वर इंद्र इंदिरा सागर एंड सरदार सरोवर डैम्स आर कंस्ट्रक्टेड ऑन रिवर नर्मदा ताप्ती इज ऑल्सो ए वेस्ट फ्लोइंग रिवर ओरिजिनेटिंग फ्रॉम बेतुल प्लेट्यू इन मध्य प्रदेश इट ऑल्सो फ्लोज वेस्ट वर्ड ओवर ए लेंथ ऑफ सेवन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव किलोमीटर इन द रिफ्ट वैली ऑफ सतपुरा एंड विंध्याज हु एमंग द फॉलोइंग वॉज गिवेन द टाइटल ऑफ बुरहान उल मुल्क बाय द मुगल एम्पायर आंसर इज सादत अली खान सादत अली खान वॉज गिवेन द टाइटल ऑफ बुरहान उल मुल्क ही वॉज द फाउंडर ऑफ द अवध ऑटोनोमस किंगडम विच ही डिक्लेयर्ड इंडिपेंडेंट फ्रॉम मुगल्स इन सेवनटीन ट्वेंटी टू सादत खान बुरहान उल मुल्क वॉज फॉलोड बाय सफदर जंग अब्दुल मंसूर सुजा उद्दौला असफ उद्दौला एंड वाजिद अली शाह एज द नवाब्स ऑफ अवध स्टेट सादत अली खान टाइम पीरियड इज सिक्सटीन एट्टी टू सेवनटीन नाइन्टी सेवनटीन थर्टी नाइन एंड इट्स एरिया इज अवध नेक्स्ट रूलर इज नादिर शाह एंड इट्स एंड हिज टाइम पीरियड वॉज सिक्सटीन एट्टी एट टू सेवनटीन फोर्टी सेवन एंड हिज एरिया वॉज परसिया अहमद शाह अब्दाली सफदर अहमद शाह अब्दाली एंड हिज टाइम पीरियड वॉज सेवनटीन ट्वेंटी टू टू सेवनटीन सेवेंटी टू एंड हिज एरिया वॉज अफगानिस्तान सफदर जंग His time period was seventeen zero eight to seventeen hundred fifty four, and his area was Awadh. Nimari is a breed of cow. Nimari is a mixed breed of gir and killari, which has acquired the hardy hardiness, agility, and temper of the killari with the formation of feet and occasional carrot. the color of the majal and hooves its place of origin is the nimar region of madhya pradesh its average milk yield per lactation is a range of 600 to 954 kg and the average milk fat is 4.9 percentage it is red in color with large white splashes and possesses a massive body convex for head and has horns the region that resemble gir breed which is the supreme institution of law making in india answer is parliament its brief explanation is parliament article 79 It consists of Lok Sabha Article 81, Rajya Sabha Article 80, and President of India Article 52. It is a constitutional body. Its main objective is policy formula formulation. So it is the supreme law making body of India. It is abiding by the objectives and aims of the Constitution of India. Prime Minister's Office in provides secretarial assistance to the. Prime Minister in his day-to-day -day business and portfolios come under him. It is headed by the Principal Secretary to Prime Minister, who is Pramod Kumar Misra. The Prime Minister is responsible as a minister for it, Narendra Modi at present, and the Deputy Minister is Jitendra Singh. Supreme Court. It is the judiciary organ of the Government of India and looks after judicial matters in the country. Part five. Articles one hundred twenty four to one hundred forty seven in the Constitution deals with the Supreme Court. If any law or act passed by Parliament seems against any provision of the Constitution, especially fundamental rights, then Supreme Court can declare it null and void. That comes under the judicial review power of the Supreme Court of India. On January twenty eighth, nineteen fifty, the Supreme Court of India was inaugurated. It succeeded the Federal Court of India, established under the Government of India Act of nineteen thirty five. The Supreme Court has replaced the British Privy Council as the highest court of appeal. 
election commission of india the election commission is a permanent and independent body established by the constitution of india directly to ensure free and fair elections in the country article 324 of the constitution provides that the power of superintendence direction and control of elections to parliament state legislatures the office of president of india and the office of vice president of india shall be vested in the election commission in which of the following states is murlen national park located the answer is mizoram murlen national park is located in the Champhai district close to Chin Hills near the Myanmar border in Mizoram it was declared national park in 1991 Mizoram is one of the states of northeast india the state capital is aizol the name is derived from mi people which means people jo lofty place such as a hill and ram means land and thus mizoram implies land of the hill people mizoram national park murlen national park fawn pui national park meghalaya balfakaram national park nokrek national park tripura bison national park krishna wildlife sanctuary sepahji sepahi jala wildlife sanctuary is located in tripura Tanki National Park is located in Nagaland Sirohi National Park Kibul Lamjao National Park is located in Manipur Nameri National Park Orang National Park is located in Assam Which of the following statement regarding deputy speaker of Lok Sabha is not true the deputy speaker while presiding over the house can vote in the first instance The deputy speaker while presiding over the house can vote in the first instance article 93 deals with the appointment of the speaker and the deputy speaker the inaugural holder of the office of the lok sabha was m a ayangar the term length of the deputy speaker of the lok sabha is 5 years during the term of the lok sabha currently the office of the deputy speaker is vacant after m thambi durai who has completed his term on 25 may 2019